know, a lot of students are complaining, Luis, that they take all the blue book practice tests mm -hmm. and then they see stuff on the math that they've never seen before. They're like, this isn't on the blue book practice test, da, 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 da. And you know, I've sat in on a couple of tests, so I can say, yeah, there's definitely some other things that come up that aren't exactly like the blue book questions. They have the same concepts behind them, yeah. right? Like where if you understand on a foundational level what they're testing you on, you should be able to get any of these right. Yeah. But yeah. how in line with the blue books do you feel like this test was today? Was there a lot of different stuff from the blue books or did it feel like a blue book? And if it did feel like a blue book, what blue book did it feel like? Um, I think they're totally right and I agree with you um, because they have the same kind of questions, right? About the predictions and what we expect. And it's not kind of like a memory game. They're not using the same questions over and over, but they, they are assessing the same concepts. So if you have to, if you know how to find the equation of a line, you should be able to find the equation of a line with points or with variables, right? To make an example. Uh, I think that um, the latest SAT tests practice on the blue book were focusing more on parallel lines, for example. And the previous, like six, seven around those uh, tests, they were uh, using more perpendicular lines. So it's just like an adaptation of finding the slope of one line and instead of making it equal to your equation, you just have to, let's say, flip it and change it, change the sign, right? The opposite receivable. So those little details, but it's not that it was a generally like a totally new concept. Uh, maybe there was one question about the margin of error in statistics that it was purely theoretical. So either you understood what the margin of error does with the size of a sample or you didn't, right? So it was kind of like knowing your way around basic concepts. But again, everything is about the basic concepts of statistics, the mean, the median, the mode, the standard deviation. And well, this is, I think this is the first time that I've seen something like that about how the, the margin of error will be affected depending on the size of the sample. Interesting. Okay.